welcome to Things and Things. Today we're doing a special episode where I get to tell you all about me. This is my special request. I'm going to be doing the TMI tag. 50 questions all about me. Don't click away. <laughs> First question is, what am I wearing? Well, let me show ya. I'm wearing this frilly shirt thing that uh, is super comfortable and that's why I love it. It has these little tassel-y thingies right here and this cute necklace, check it out, check it out. I love it. And then I'm also wearing some camo pants, leggings, and no shoes and socks. And these earrings, I like them. Question number two, have I ever been in love? Yes. Question number three, ever had a terrible breakup? I actually have not. The only time I've ever broken up with somebody was the person right before I met my husband and I was the one who broke up with them. So I don't know how it is to have a terrible breakup and I hope it wasn't a terrible breakup for him because he was a nice guy. Anyways, how tall am I? I am 5'5". Five, five. How much do I weigh? How rude of you to ask that. Just kidding. <laughs> I currently am very proud of myself because I weigh 130 and I'm working hard to lose all that baby fat that I built up after having four babies. So I'm doing really good, 130. Any tattoos? I feel like I shouldn't answer this question. I should just have you guys answer the question in the comments below. What do you guys think? And where? <laughs> Ready? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that cracked me up. <laughs> Any piercings? Right here. Earrings. OTP, one true pairing. Like a, a couple? In fandomness. Harry Potter and Hermione and Ron, but they're not really a couple, except for Ron and Hermione. SpongeBob and Patrick! That's a really tough question. I don't know. Do you want to know what my favorite show is? Chuck. I love the show Chuck. Oh, and I really love the show Big Bang Theory, like a lot. My favorite band? Ooh, that's a good, that's a good question. Okay, I just started listening to a band that my husband started listening to and it's called I Fight Dragons. Those, that is cool because they tell a story in like, uh, it's like each song in their album is a chapter in a novel and it tells like this cool story and if you like watch their music videos, it's really, really cool. I Fight Dragons. Something I miss. Okay, truth be told, I haven't had anybody, I'm so lucky I haven't had anybody like pass away that's close to me, but something that I miss is chocolate oranges and chocolate because I'm not eating sugar right now and I haven't been eating sugar, like that type, like pure sugar type stuff, candies and sweets and stuff, I haven't had that for like, ooh, since like Christmas. And I have kids, look there's my kids. Chocolate orange. <laughs> Favorite song. Ooh, I love the way you love me. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Ooh, I only wish that you could see the way you love me. Whoa, 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 the way you love me. I love that song. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was, okay, that was my first, that was like one of the very first songs that I was like, I love this song! <laughs> That's why it came to my head. How old am I? I'm 26. I've got four kids and I'm 26. I know it's crazy. Zodiac sign. I think I'm Libra. L li Libra. I'm a Libra. Quality I look for in a partner. Now that's a good question. I'm gonna say more than one. Somebody who's responsible, somebody who's funny, somebody who loves kids, and who has lots and lots of moolah. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm totally kidding on that one. <laughs> Favorite quote. 
I have a favorite quote, but I need to look it up really quick because I do not want to butcher it. Okay, I couldn't find the quote that I could remember, but I found two others that I really, really like. These are by Thomas Edison. One of them says, if we all did the things we are capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. And then the other one is, the doctor of the future will give no medicine, but will educate his patients in the care of the human frame, in diet, and in the cause of prevention of disease. I really, really like that one a lot. I think the other quote that I was trying to find had something to the effect of like, just every day try your very hardest to do everyday normal things to the very best of your ability and it will change your life or something crazy like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Favorite actor. That's another good one. I actually really, really like Will Smith, and he's a very inspirational guy. Go on YouTube and look up his quotes. Good, good, very inspirational. Favorite color, rainbow! <laughs> I like them all. I can't choose. Don't ask me to do that. That's rude. <laughs> I just have too many. I like them all. I like them all. But currently, one of my very favorites is this coral color and like an aqua ocean blue mist. So it's like a bluish greenish aqua color and it's really, really pretty. Loud music or soft? I'm thinking soft. You have no idea how it is being with kids screaming their heads off all day. It's too much to handle loud music. Where do I go when I'm sad? That's a good question. To my closet or I hide? <laughs> Sometimes I just sit in the car outside where nobody knows that I am. So I'm just like, quiet. <sighs> How long does it take me to shower? 30 minutes on the dot. I take really long showers, but I like it and I don't get very much quiet time, so that's why I do it. How long does it take me to get ready in the morning? It depends on how well I get ready in the morning. If I'm just getting ready to get out the door, it probably takes me like five or 10 minutes, but that's no makeup. That's just throwing clothes on and wrapping my hair up in a bun really quick and going. But um, today I took like a half an hour or an hour, depending with a shower and everything. An hour with a shower. Have I ever been in a physical fight? Yes, multiple times. One was in elementary school where somebody pushed me and I pushed her back and then she punched me in the face. <laughs> gave me a bloody lip. And then <laughs> um, in high school, I actually was in a kickboxing kung fu and gung fu. <laughs> Turn on? Question mark? <laughs> what turns me on? A husband that takes care of the baby. That actually, that really makes me like, oh, he is hot. <laughs> Turn off, yelling, lots of yelling. That turns me off. The reason I joined YouTube, uh, because I wanted to be able to make crafts and recipes and stuff like that and have a really good reason to do it so that I like, so that I could spend money and make some money back on the crafts and not just be like throwing the money away with the crafts. That's fine to justify spending money. <laughs> Fears. Public speaking is definitely a fear of mine. I'm not afraid of heights, it's big spiders that can kill me, things that can kill me, people that want to kill me, you know. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> oh man. Last thing that made me cry. I might have cried when my back was hurting me because I crashed on a longboard on my anniversary. <laughs> Last time you said you loved somebody. Love you, Michael. Right now! He's sitting over here right now. <laughs> the meaning behind my YouTube name, pins and things. So I tried to get a whole bunch of other different YouTube names and I couldn't, I couldn't get them at the time because they wouldn't allow you to if that channel name was taken at the time. So pins and things. Pinterest, pins, and things. Other projects besides Pinterest pins. That's for me. The last book I read, ooh. The last book I read was probably Who Moved My Cheese? That's a good one. Dealing with change, that's what it's all about. And then one that I'm currently reading is How to Win Friends and Influence People. That's a good one. And oh, another one, what, oh, what, oh, oh, Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. That's a good one too. Good books, go read them right now. They're, they're self-help books and they will change the way you view yourself and the world and they'll make you a better person. So go read them.
the last show I watched, ooh, I'm watching Avatar The Last Airbender with my husband and my brother, because it's fun. Last person you talk to. You guys, right now, I'm talking to you. That's right, I'm talking to you. So last person that texted me, um, they're a friend from church. And before that, another friend from church. Favorite food? Oh, 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 okay, I remember, I remember. Okay, it's, <sighs> my mouth's watering now and I'm really hungry. I wanna go and get some food. <laughs> okay, my favorite food is wingers, chicken wings that are boneless. And I love when they give me celery with ranch and um, french fries with ketchup and, <sighs> oh great guys. Will somebody please bring me some wingers food? <laughs> I have a peel box, send it there. <laughs> a place I want to visit, I want, one day I would probably be okay with going to Europe. I think that would be really cool. Last place I was, let me see. What is that supposed to mean? My bedroom? I was in my bedroom last. Do I have a crush? Yes, I do. I do, and it's this cute boy, and he has really long, hair, beard, and uh, he has a really cool last name. Anyways, I love him. Last time I kissed someone. Now. <laughs> last time I was insulted. That's a good question. I don't really take offense very easily. Okay, one time somebody complimented me on my cuteness being pregnant, but they said that it made them mad. So I was like, am I supposed to be insulted by that or happy? Is this a compliment or an insult? <laughs> but I was happy because I, it was a compliment, kind of. Ooh, favorite flavor of sweet, chocolate, chocolate. What instruments, ooh, what instruments do I play? I don't play very well. Wow, this list of like stuff, getting to know me, this is serious, like this is, Good questions. Okay. <gasps> it's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. Without saying a word, you light up the dark. Old Mr. Webster could never define. What's been said between your heart and mine? The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth, truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. The touch of, touch, touch of, touch, touch of your hand says you'll catch me. school level but amazing still right favorite piece of jewelry actually I think it probably is this one I really like this one right now I think it's really cute last sport I played longboarding I'll say that last song you sang well I just sang it go back to that clip right now Michael <laughs> I don't know, I'm way off key. <laughs> Favorite chat up line. What does that even mean? Oh, oh, like a, hey. Have you ever used it? Yes, 
Last time I hung out with anyone. I think this one would probably go to... Okay, so we went to the Footloose prom. You can check that out on my other channel, The Beach House. Uh, we dressed up in like foot, Footloose, like the old Footloose attire and went and went to prom together. And we hung out with a ton of other different YouTubers and that was really fun. The very last question is, who should answer this next? Who should do the TMI tag next? And the first person that I think that should do it next is Ginger from Carl and Ginger. She's one of my friends on YouTube. I think that she would be very interesting to learn about. The second person who I think should answer the questions in this TMI tag is Krista Vlogs. She's been watching us and following us for a while now, and I think that I want to learn a little bit more about her. So I challenge you, Ginger and Krista, to make the TMI tag video. And have fun with it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe though to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Also, if you want to learn more about me and my family and my cute husband and my cute kids, then go to the beach house. I will have a link in the description below for that channel. And that is my daily vlogging channel. So I put up a video every single day on that channel. And we have two new videos every single week on Tuesdays and Saturdays on this channel. So stay tuned because it's going to be awesome. See you guys next time.